Hey guys, Mill here and welcome back to another daily Fortnite news. I make these videos to rewind on what's been going on in Fortnite throughout the whole entire day. So if you guys yourselves want to be kept up to date with the latest possible Fortnite news with zero clickbait, then subscribe right now with those notifications on. We've got a handful of things to talk about today, boys, so drop a like down below if you enjoy. Remember, you guys can use code servers in the Fortnite item shop if you'd like to support me and what I do for you guys daily. The code resets every 14 days, guys, so keep it up to date. Make sure it hasn't reset. However, without further ado, guys, let's get right into today's news. All right, boys, so a handful of interesting things that came out today. However, first of all, as always, let's take a quick little look at today's item shop. So in the shop today, Power Cord and the set made a return today. Very nice skin, in my opinion. Mayhem also did those, like, uh... I think they call like Ruslan Warrior set or something like that. Hazard Agent made a return. However, we got the hot and cold wrap. Absolutely amazing wrap. Without a doubt, the best one they've ever brought out so far. Go pick it up, boys. Thanks to everyone who picked it up with code servers or picked up something up in today's shop. Leave your thoughts on today's shop down below, guys. However, getting right into the proper news, let's first of all talk about some new Save the World founder exclusives that are going to be coming soon. So you guys might have seen this in the leaks a couple days ago. However, if you're actually a founder of Save the World, so you've bought the founders pack on save the world sometime soon you'll actually be getting some new exclusives in battle royale so if you're actually a founder of save the world you'll know that you actually got a ton of items you guys can see here you got the glider uh, you also got the founders umbrella as well as these two skins the uh, the rose team leader and the war paint skin so if you're actually a founder of save the world well sometime soon according to some leakers you will indeed be getting hopefully three new items so the first one is this pickaxe right here which right now is just called tbd to be disclosed or to be announced so you guys get the point but i'll play the actual sound for you guys right now of the pickaxe But this is it here, thanks a ton to Sheena BR. So he says that Founders will receive a free pickaxe, which seems to be that TBD one, a back bling, and a glider for both female and male very soon. Now, I don't know if there's any images of these other items, the back bling and gliders, but right now all we know is that this pickaxe should be coming for Founders because this pickaxe is actually in Save the World itself. But if you haven't picked up Save the World by now, definitely get the Founders edition, guys, because you're going to be able to get yourself a ton of skins. So yeah, I want to let you guys know about this. However, moving on to the next topic so first of all the week nine challenges are now out today guys go pick them up you can actually get the prisoner or snowfall skin as well but talking about the prisoner skin i want to let you guys know that there's actually some secrets so once you actually unlock the prisoner skin by doing all of the week nine challenges obviously you can actually get stage two where he doesn't have the actual like lock on his face by landing right here at polar peak going into the castle and picking up this key and this will actually unlock stage two for you guys now there's a lot of misconceptions and clickbait going around right now that people People are getting stage three and stage four but no one in fortnite has stage three or four right now guys and that's because as you guys see here my good friend lucas actually explained this really simply so he says this confirmed there is only two parts of the prisoner stuff present in 7.30 so 7.30 is the update that we're on right now guys part c or stage three is only referenced by itself and is not granted by anything so further down he says this is the only reference to it and itself so guys Stage 3 is not actually in the game right now. It's in the 7.30 update, but it's not fully here. So, we don't know if it's coming tomorrow. We don't know if it's coming next week. We'll just have to see, guys. But, right now, it seems to be that there's only two parts in the files. Now... For all I know, it could come tomorrow, guys. But right now, if you go and search the whole map, you're not going to find stage 3 or 4. Now, depending on when you're watching this video, it could be out for you guys. But keep an eye on my Twitter, guys. Go and follow me over there. It's at Merlalius. I'll keep you guys all up to date on it myself. And also, by the time all four stages are out, I'll actually make a simple and quick little video showing you guys how to get all four stages really simply. So get those notifications on, boys. But yeah, I want to clear that up. Stage 3 and 4 are not available on the map right now. You cannot find it anywhere. Just keep waiting. However, moving on to the next topic, now this is small but trios is actually here guys now this was a leaked uh, a while back to be honest but trios is here obviously judging off the name it's three man squads guys not four man or anything but three man squads it's absolutely sick go check it out if you haven't already i'm not sure if it's permanent or anything but it might actually be permanent to be honest boys let me know if you've had a chance to actually play the new mode down below let me know your thoughts on it too however the next topic of today is talking about the marshmallow event so if you guys have got no idea what's going on with the marshmallow event go watch this video as you guys see on screen right now 
that's going to clear it all up for you guys really, really simply. But today, Marshmallow actually confirmed that it is coming on Saturday. As you guys see here, he actually posted this on his Twitter saying like gliding at Pleasant Park on Saturday, February 2nd, 2 p.m. EST. And the official Fortnite Twitter did indeed retweet it, guys. So it's confirmed coming. It's not like clickbait or anything like that. Do not worry. So that's pretty cool on that behalf. However, regarding the actual Marshmallow event, the Showtime challenges are now out. So they actually relate to Marshmallow, as you guys see here. You can go in game, complete them right now. The next two parts apparently unlock tomorrow, which is interesting two parts in one day. But today you can actually get the spray just by searching a Showtime poster. There's a ton of them, as you guys see here. Here's a few little references. Uh, it's pretty simple to go find them. They're pretty much everywhere, guys. So yeah, let me know if you've actually gotten this Marshmallow spray or the first day of the Showtime challenges, guys. Pretty cool little item right there. The next two come out tomorrow. But guys, the final topic of today is that replays, if you guys remember yesterday, they actually got disabled because there was a bug where you could hear the full Fortnite Marshmallow concert in game. It was really weird, but it got disabled and just a few hours ago, it has indeed been re-enabled, guys. So if you plan to use replay mode for anything, it is back, guys. Go and film whatever you guys would like. However, guys, that is all we've got for today on January 31st. Let me know if you guys enjoyed today's video by leaving a like down below. Comment what you thought about today's video. What do you guys think about Stage 3 and Stage 4? When do you think they're going to be coming to the game too? But guys, subscribe if you're new around here for daily Fortnite content, which is never ever clickbait. Make sure to use code servers in the Fortnite M shop, boys. It really does help me out a ton, guys. Thank you so much to everyone who uses the code. But thanks a lot for watching, everyone, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.